Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's webinar. Today, we're going to be talking about coming soon listings. Uh, and what we're going to talk about today is there are some new rules from the National Association of Realtors, and we want to show you that you have a pre-listing tool that complies with this with these rules, these new uh, things that we have to take a look at. Now, I would recommend that if you have any questions about those rules, about those things uh, that we have to deal with inside of our uh, MLSs, inside of our brokerage and, and what those rules are, I would recommend uh, reaching out to your brokerage to have those questions answered. But what we're going to be looking at today is your coming soon listings, a tool that you have access to where we can put something out there and see some of the interest before uh, it goes on to the MLS. Now, remember, you're not going to be marketing your listing out into the world, out to new buyers. What we're doing is marketing it to our other agents. Okay, we'll get into that in just a second. Uh, my name is Tom Shively. I'm the director of training here at BuySide, and I'm also joined by Todd Williams, or customer success extraordinaire, who's going to be helping us out during the Q&A. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put those into the chat box that you see over on the right hand side and we'll get any questions that you have so anything that you'd like to talk about let us know okay a quick agenda for today is we're going to talk about what a coming soon listing is and how to apply uh, to our business to something that we can use uh, inside of by side inside of our business a tool that we can use to generate this interest now it does go hand in hand with some of the other tools that we've already talked about so if you've seen these webinars uh, you'll be able to see uh, how it fits in with all of that other stuff. We're also going to talk about how to add a coming soon listing in. We'll actually go inside buy side, add that coming soon listing in, and we'll show you where those tools are, what it looks like, uh, and how to add that in. And we're also going to talk about seeing the interest on your new listing. So once we put that into the system, how do I see interest in this listing? How do I know that people are looking at my listing and how can I find matches? for my coming soon listing. So that's what we're talking about today. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. So the first is what is a coming soon listing? Now this is a pre-listing, something that has not hit the MLS yet, uh, that we have. It's a listing that we won, it hasn't quite hit the MLS yet, uh, but we're able to see and generate that interest. Now the way that we can do that is we can show our clients, we can put this into our buy side system inside of our brokerage now again that tool is going to be raising our at my meeting right so this is like when we meet up with our office and we say hey i have this listing it's going on the mls in two weeks uh does anybody have a buyer that's looking for a three bedroom two bathroom 150 square feet or however large it is uh and for let's say four hundred thousand dollars so we have this tool where we can put all of that stuff in there uh, and then we can see through all of the buyers that are on your dashboard inside of BuySide what that interest is. So all of those buyer profiles that match your listing. So when we're looking inside, whether it's an MLS listing or it's a pre-listing that is going to go on the MLS shortly, uh, we're able to see those buyers that are represented by other agents. So we can start by talking about it with other agents. There we go. Okay, so that is what our coming soon listing is. And like I said, if you have any questions about whether this applies in your market, I would suggest going to uh, your brokerage and asking those questions. So, a uh, tool that we do have uh, is we have our Buy Side Insiders Facebook group. So, if you have uh, any questions or if you want to do take a look at some tips and tricks, uh, some testimonials, and of course, some best practices, you can find those on our Facebook group. And that's by going to buysideinsiders.com. It'll take you right to that page. We also have a world-class support team. So you can go to support at getbuyside.com or email us uh, at support at getbuyside.com. And it will, um, you'll get a real person to help answer any of those questions you have. We also do have this great new help center that is support.getbuyside.com. Uh, and you can find all of the articles and everything that you could possibly want to use inside BuySide. Uh, so a couple of tools that we have access to there. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So here we are on our dashboard. So the first thing that we'll do is we're going to create a new coming soon listing. Here we go. So we can see I've got two of them down there already. So here is what we'll do. We're going to go to add and we're going to go to listing. 
Now, some of you are going to see both of these, the quiet listings and the coming soon listing. Now, if quiet listings, and what a quiet listing is, is a non-MLS listing. It's a pocket listing. Now, there are a lot of different parts of the country where those are not allowed. So if you see that, uh, then we know this will always be in compliance. So if your brokerage has asked us to turn that on, you'll see it in here. If it's not allowed, you won't see that in here. You'll just see coming soon listings right there. So let's go ahead and click on that. Let's go, and now it's gonna take us to our coming soon listing page. So what we're gonna see here is how we can enter in those addresses. So if we go to the street address here, uh, I can make this viewable, and that means that when somebody is searching for listings, they go to that search box, or they're looking at listings that have paired up with it, you're gonna see all of the information. So it'll show you the address and all that other good stuff. Now, what you what we can do is if somebody's not ready for people to start looking at this, if they don't want agents contacting them, or excuse me, they don't want people walking through their listing or driving in front of their house, agents won't contact them because they're not going to be able to see who that person is. Uh, but they're not ready for people to just start looking at their listing. We can put this in here and we can see that interest. So we can put it in there. Somebody can search for this listing and they'll be able to see the bedrooms and bathrooms, the square footage, but it's not going to show the exact address. So we know what area it will be in uh, because that's important with school district, that sort of stuff, but it's not going to show the address just yet. So I like mine to be viewable just so because it is that internal tool. It is a tool that is only seen uh, by other people in my brokerage. So now, now we can enter in our address. So let's do 1352 Court. There we go. Uh, and there is our address. So perfect. So now we can add that in. And you'll notice that when I do that, it pre-populates all this other stuff. So the county, the school districts, the number of bedrooms and bathrooms. So it does pull all that stuff from public records, from where it is, where that address is, so it'll show you all this great info. So I don't have to do that. Now, if we're filling all of this in, you will see that there are some of these fields that are bolded. They have that star next to them. So I could see number of bathrooms, uh, and there's a star next to it. Well, when I'm putting in this listing, I have to have bedrooms and bathrooms. I have to have the property type. That's just, it's important to everybody. So I need to have that in here. Now, there are things in here that you don't have to have in. So if you didn't want to put what the age of the home is, so I know it's probably going to be in this area. It's probably going to be somewhere in the 11 to 25 year range. Uh, so we can see that, but we don't have to put that in. Again, approximate lot size. Uh, again, I can put that in. I'm not going to. Now we can put in our listing description. Now that is the comments, the things that we would enter in on the MLS. So odds are we already have something that describes our listing. So we can put that in here as the listing description or we can just copy it from where we already wrote it. So uh, you can paste that in here. We know our listing description. I'm not gonna type something out. We'll just say this is a listing. There we go. So you'll have much more detailed comments, uh, but you'll see that here. So now we can show our asking price. Okay, so we can put in our asking price. Uh, if I remember correctly, this was $938,000. So there we go. So we can put that in here. And now we can put in our uh, commission. Again, this is not mandatory. Uh, so we can put that in there. I will. Let's go ahead and put 3%. Uh, and then when is this going to go live on the MLS? So this is important. So we do have to fill this in. Uh, again, it is that uh, pre-listing. It's our quiet uh, quiet listings. Um, so we can add that in here. So when is this going live? Now, I can put this two weeks out. So if, if there is a reason that it's being held up, but it's not that your client doesn't want it to hit the MLS just yet. Let's say it's something like the photographer hasn't shown up yet uh, or the stager hasn't shown up yet. Something that's only gonna take a day or two to do, uh, we can put this a week out or two weeks out is when it's gonna hit the actual MLS itself. So we'll put two weeks out. Let's say that uh, the issue here is that the photographer never showed up. Uh, so we know that it's going to be a couple more days before we get those pictures. We need to have that. We Obviously, when it's on the MLS, we need to make sure that those pictures get in there. Um, but let's say it's a few months ago. Let's say it's uh, uh, April, and we know that the market just took a big hit uh, because of the virus, right? We know that that happened. So what we can do is schedule this out. Let's say your client isn't quite ready yet, but we want to see a little bit of that interest. Let's say we have three months. 
So let's give it a little bit extra time just so we can put our client at ease. We can start to see that interest. And when they're ready, we can have this hit the MLS. So uh, we can do that. Again, we're gonna pretend this is a photographer thing. So let's go ahead and put it in two weeks in the future. Uh, and when are showings going to start? Showings are gonna start Monday because there are people are gonna start going in and taking a look at that stuff. So we'll have those showings starting on Monday. And there we go. So now we've got our coming soon listing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select add listing. And now that's it. That's all I have to do. So all of that was pretty self-explanatory. Again, we're adding in the address. It'll pre-populate a lot of that, that stuff. And then we just have to add in when's it going to hit the MLS, what's the price, and when are showings going to start. That's it. That's all I have to do. And then, of course, I can add in some images if I have those. And that's all. That's it. So now the other people at my brokerage are going to be able to find this listing. So this will show up. It'll pair with those other buyers. Now, I can see I've got a bunch of buyers in here. Check this out. So I can start to see the interest on this listing. I'm getting my little bit of a head start here uh, when I'm working on this listing. So these are all people, what we see here, let's scroll down. Uh, all those buyers are represented by an agent at my brokerage. So those are people that, that in the internal tool, I'm not reaching out directly to this person. What I can do is click on that buyer there and it's gonna show me, this is Alan. This is another agent uh, that, have contact that I can contact. So I can say, hey, I have a listing your buyer might like. There we go. <laughs> it took a little too long to type. All right, so I have a listing your buyer would like. I can put that listing on there. I've actually got a few different listings. We can see it's still the same address. I've got the same listing in there a few times. Um, which I did on purpose, but we can do that and we can put this listing and this is the buyer. So I can say, this is the listing. Let's go ahead and match these people up. Is this something they might be interested in? Uh, and then when it actually hits the MLS, we can get that person to come see the listing inside. So let's go back to our dashboard. We're going to find that listing here. Um, so we can see that coming soon listing and I've got my matches here. So I've got six matches for my coming soon listing. Uh, so that is how we would see that interest. So again, if we're on here and we can see that there's a few new matches, let's go ahead and click on that, uh, that listing there. And I can come back in here. Again, here is all the details about my listing. Uh, and I can scroll down and see that interest, see all of the buyers whose profile now match my listing. So there they are. Whew, okay, so that's how we would work a coming soon listing, and that's how it would be uh, when we're looking to get this little head start. And remember, this does comply with those new NAR rules. So uh, if you were looking to get those coming soon listings, put them into buy side, this is where we would do it. All right, so that's what we have for you today. We're gonna get started with our Q&A. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. They are on the right-hand side. All right, Todd, I see a first question here, which is, um, I thought coming soon listings could only be seen for 21 days. Why would that be? Uh, that is a great question. Um, that is another uh, thing that kind of varies by brokerage by where you are in MLS. Some allow 21 days, some allow 14, some allow 90, I believe. So that would be dependent on where you are located. Very good. Yes, we want to make sure that we're compliant with every area. So no matter what your brokerage uh, allows, um, we want to make sure that we're compliant. So we talk with your brokerage leadership. We know what the rules are in the area. So we want to make sure. So if the rules are that you can have a coming soon listing, a pre-listing, but it can only be scheduled out for 21 days, that's as far out as you're going to be scheduling it. So we do have some areas that are uh, they, they allow a little bit more time, especially during the time that we're currently in. So they'll allow more time. So we, we've seen as much as 90 days. Uh, and again, that was a helpful tool when we were going through uh, the, the beginning of the lockdown and people just were, didn't want to list their listing. They didn't want to put it on the MLS because it was going to sit there for a couple of months. So they said, hey, let's hold off. This would have been that tool where we can put it in, say it's going to go on three months later and we can start to generate that interest. Now, um, 
again, that is completely up to the area and the brokerage. Awesome. It looks like we answered that question. Uh, Todd, let me ask you, how, how does the coming soon listings differ from an actual MLS listing inside the buy side dashboard? How do we, how do those differ? Uh, there's a few ways. One, you'll see obviously the, the notion there that it's, uh, you know, you see the coming soon listing right under it. Um, another area is actually a pretty good advantage for your buyers when you're adding your buyers to buy side is you have the option of alerting your buyers immediately when they, when a coming soon listing is added to inside your brokerage that fits their criteria. And it's a, it's definitely a seller's market right now. So getting that listing before it, uh, hits the MLS is obviously big for any buyer. I love it. Perfect. All right. I'm not seeing any more questions in there. Um, thank you all for being here. Now you may have clicked on that link, uh, that where the channel is that it will show you, um, the upcoming webinars. The next couple are actually on a different channel. So let me go ahead and copy that for you uh, because it is going to be our home valuation week. So next week, uh, we do have one that is going to go over your home valuation site. So we're gonna be able to see that. Uh, and then you can also see that the following week is also going to be on that same topic. So let me go ahead and paste that into our chat that we have here. So you can go ahead and sign up for those two. They are going to be the next two Thursdays in a row. Remember the home valuation week is going to be uh, the, the week of the 21st. So uh, when we're looking to get those new leads, generate those new seller leads, uh, we are going to be helping you promote that great stuff there. So if you have any questions, again, let us know. Please sign up for those uh, webinars so that you can get that head start on your home valuation page and generating those new leads. Other than that, thank you for being here and we'll see you next time.